Bronsted and Lowry define acids and bases in a different way. They do not need to use water to define acids and bases. Instead, they will use a proton transfer reaction to define acids and bases. A Bronsted Lowry acid is a species donating the proton in a proton transfer reaction. A Bronsted Lowry base is a species accepting the proton in a proton transfer reaction. As we can see here, a Bronsted Lowry acid and a Bronsted Lowry base is related together. They always appear at the same time. One is donating the proton, one is accepting the proton. When a Bronsted Lowry acid donates a proton, it will become its conjugated base. At the same time, when a Bronsted Lowry base accepts a proton, it will become its conjugated acid. Let's look at the example. Ammonia reacts with water, will produce ammonium ion and hydroxide ion. As we can see here, for the forward reaction, water will donate a proton, ammonia will accept a proton. From the definition, water is considered a Bronsted Lowry acid. Ammonia will accept a proton. From the definition, it is a Bronsted Lowry base. If you are looking at the reverse reaction, ammonium ion will donate a proton. Hydroxide ion will accept a proton. From the definition, ammonium ion is an acid. Hydroxide ion is a base. When a base is accepting a proton, it will become its conjugated acid. Similarly, for water and hydroxide ion, water and hydroxide ion is a conjugated acid and conjugated base pair. In summary, when a base accepts a proton, it will become conjugated acid. If a conjugated acid loses a proton, it will become the conjugated base. Let's look at two examples. Example 1. Give the conjugated bases of each of the following. From what we are told, this species should be treated as the conjugated acids. From what we have, the conjugated acids lose a proton will become conjugated base. Make sure when you lose a proton, you lose a hydrogen atom, you also lose a plus one charge. If you're not familiar with this process, you can divide this into two steps. The first step, you lose a hydrogen atom. The second step, you lose a plus one charge. So, this is the conjugated base of this conjugated acid. But I want to point out, this species does not exist. To write this way, it just helps you to write down the answer correctly. For bicarbonate, the conjugated base should be CO3 2 minors. We will do this one in one step. This is called carbonate. Similarly, we can get the conjugated base for water which is hydroxide. Okay, these species are considered the conjugate bases of the conjugated acids. Example 2. Give the conjugated acids of each of the following. From what we are told, this should be considered as the conjugated base. From what we have here, from a conjugated base, if we take in one proton, H+, plus, it will become conjugated acid. And this species should be considered as the conjugated acids. So let's review what we learned. A conjugated base plus a proton, which is a hydrogen ion, it will become the conjugated acid. And a conjugated acid lose a proton, which is a hydrogen ion, it will become the conjugated base.